pumpkin is a threat. Cuddle pumpkin, though? In every reality where Cuddle Pumpkin survives, humanity collapses in fire and agony. He must be destroyed. Cuddle Pumpkin? Yes. The guy who once pooped out a pumpkin pie so massive that it fed the entire homeless population. Yes! Same guy. Somehow, he is the key to our doom, okay? We can all agree that there is a giant robot outside. Yes? We all agree without a doubt that it is destroying downtown and killing innocent people. I mean, you could hear that from a mile away. Okay, so we are going to continue our debate. Can I say something? I have to tell you something else. Last night, I ordered fries. <gasps> I was out with the gals and I said, ladies, for this one night only, let's be bad. And we were, we ordered them, and I said I was gonna split them, but you know I ate every last one. They didn't stand a chance. Shut up, bitches. How are you hungover again? It's not my fault. David Blaine's limo dropped us off outside of a fat burger. Then two strangers wanted me to hold their Gatoritas. So I had to drink them. What's a Gatorita? It's a Gatorade and tequila. Educate yourself. I'm never drinking again. Let's talk about how much you drink. Oh God, the real number shocks even me, but if I say it out loud, it's kind of cementing a problem, right? So let's just say like one or two times a week. Shit-faced every weekend, gotcha. Vic, I flourish when I am being evaluated and a letter grade lets me know empirically what my value is. Okay, well, Jess, uh, you're an adult, and so we rely on feedback in the world, and that's how we know how we're doing. Please grade me. Please grade me. Just grade me. What's he do? What did he do? Um, he was a doctor. Jackpot! Cha-ching! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I work in comedy. I'm an actress. Could you tell him that? He can hear you. Really? Well, what'd he say? Trap! Great directing. You were really able to bring out some emotions from deep down inside of me. I think it's some of my best work yet. Jess, we're selling toilet paper yeah. and Frank is shit on our butt. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here. If you want to talk, if you want to get lunch, get a drink. Oh, paint me green and give me that booty. It says appetite suppressor. Right, but suppress your appetite for you and not because society tells you to. Katie. That is such BS, all right? We know the only reason we're doing any of this is to conform with society, to feel like we fit in. Tired of your chips being too loud? I can't eat anywhere because of it. Introducing Chomsky's new line of snacks for embarrassed ladies. That's a relief. <laughs> yes, we're gonna go to Trump's house and we're gonna make each other watch YouTube videos that we like. Okay, well, uh, text me when you get there and don't forget about the beer garden tonight, okay? We're going to a beer garden? Yes, yes, we've talked about this. No. No, I did okay. bring it up. Right. <laughs> yeah, you can't gaslight me, I did this. Oh, we're gonna see a movie at 8.30 if you wanna come. <laughs>